Hey guys, welcome to my new vlog series where I'm going to be talking about the new Netflix series, The Haunting of Hill House. And right now I'm going to be talking about episode one, Steven Sees a Ghost. First off, I've heard a lot of good things about this show. This show has been getting nothing but praise, and I hear a lot of people seem to really like it, which is really good. And so I began to be a little bit more intrigued. And I just saw the trailer recently, and I thought it looked really good. And it's directed and written by Mike Flanagan, who I love his work. Gerald's Game, which he made for Netflix last year, was one of my favorite films of last year. That was a great film, and I wanted to see what he would bring to the table here. And this is really good. Like, really good. And not just in the scare department, which it is very creepy, but also just on a filmmaking level. This movie looks incredibly good. Or, it's not a movie, it's a TV series looks incredibly good. But it has that film quality to it, which, forgive me for saying that, but yeah. It's a really good looking TV series that looks almost like a film. And it's got some great acting in it. Like, Timothy Hutton is in the show, as well as, um, I can't remember his name, but it's Elliot from E.T. And they're all extremely well done in this series. The acting is just incredible. And so, basically, what is this show about? Well, from what I can take from this. I haven't read the book or seen the original old movie, but what I can take from this is that a family used to live in this old house called Hill House, and it's deemed one of the most haunted buildings in the U.S. And you see the movie you see the show go through two different timelines. You see them when the kids were young and then when they're adults. And you see how living in that house affected their lives. And some of it's not for the better. These are very broken people. And that's really, it really has this feeling of realism that something so traumatic can happen and just change your life. It reminds me a lot of um, the Amityville Horror Especially there's a scene later on in this episode where they leave the house when they're younger and it just feels like a scene from, or the very ending scene of um, Amityville Horror. I really kind of liked that. I don't know if that was intentional because this is based on a book, so I don't know, but I found it really great. And overall, yes this show is creepy. There's a lot of creepy stuff in it, but it doesn't just go right for the throat, basically. You're not being scared right off the bat, and the show is really about setting up stuff that is horrific, and when it happens, it's really creepy, and sometimes it's not even on screen for all that long, which I really liked. I liked the... I like when horror doesn't just blast you with it where you're constantly being scared. I like it in little bursts, and this show has it in little bursts that I think really works for the show. And the actors, as I said, they're all really good. I particularly like um, Elliot, who plays the father during the child's timeline. I also really like the main character, Steven, who is kind of like a paranormal investigator slash writer. He wrote a book on his experiences in the house or other people's experiences because he has said that he never saw a ghost at Hill House and he's got a collection of books and I really like his character. I think he's the actor that plays Dario in um, Game of Thrones, which I really liked him in this. All the actors are really well done, and 
I just love the creepy and oppressive atmosphere that is in this show. I told you that the show looks really good and just the sets, the set decoration, just the production design is impeccable and it really gives this creepy vibe to it where you're constantly not feeling particularly safe during the episode and just watching these people and seeing them as children and then flashing forward and seeing them as adults and seeing how their lives have changed is really kind of disturbing and also just a little sad too. Like, you see that these people are broken because of something that happened to them so long ago. And overall, guys, I think this is a really good show right off the bat. I think this has a... I think this has a potential of being something really, really good and something really special. So I hope that the rest of the series is as good as this episode. So I'll continue with my watching so as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next vlog